Well, it's time for me to follow through on my promise. I said a couple, three weeks ago that uh, I was going to do a little video on golf ball carving and how I uh, open up golf balls and uh, show you how to carve them. And uh, today's the day. I've been procrastinating this for quite a while now and Sophie's been after me to get her, uh, her egg basket back. So uh, today's the day. Now, when I was a kid, I used to open up golf balls too, but they used to look more like a ball of elastics. So uh, I don't know when the shift was, so if you got a really, really old ball, you may not find what we're going to find inside of these newer balls. But mind you, that's probably 40 years ago, so hopefully you don't have any 40-year-old balls. But regardless, I wouldn't go out and uh, buy brand new golf balls at the, uh, you know, the sporting goods store or whatever. Just Find some used ones, secondhand stores, sporting, secondhand sporting goods or family members. And actually, there's this park close to my house here that has a real nicely manicured lawn. And uh, I walk around there once in a while and I see them just laying around, just laying in the field. And uh, sometimes you're in these little cups and these little circles out in the field. But uh, yeah, they're just there for the taking. And uh, you get there early because you won't be the only one looking for them. When I got these golf balls in that park, uh, I grabbed a whole bunch right around the one, one of those holes, and uh, I guess there was other guys looking for them, because there's a whole group of guys that were yelling and screaming at me, so they were just mad that I got there first, I guess. So anyway, lots of golf balls to be had out there, and uh, I wouldn't go buy brand new ones for this. An example of uh, one of mine here, is there's a fella here that I carved and you'll see how I use the uh, the cap as the as the, the stand and that's what I'm going to show you today but uh, I'm going to screw up through the bottom but don't uh, don't get caught up in just this the sky's the limit depending on how you want to cut it you can design you can design helmets whatever your imagination can think of but we're just going to go for the uh, cut in half version today but uh, yeah, if you get into it, there's a there's lots of ways to do it. A regular uh, golf ball is uh, not quite an inch and three quarters in uh, in thickness or width. I mean, so I went downstairs in the workshop and I cut a little uh, a little uh, circle, made a little template here that uh, is not only uh, the width, but being a barn board, it's just about seven eighths of an inch. So not a perfect uh, half the ball, but close enough. So it's about seven eighths high and uh, the inch and three quarter hole. And you can see there, there's play. So it's, it's probably, I don't think it's quite an inch and five eighths, but uh, it's right between there. Inch and five eighths and inch and three quarters. 11 sixteenths, I guess, but let's not get too caught up on numbers. So nothing really matters here. But we're just gonna set this down here and I'm gonna put a ball in it and we'll go from there. So if I put down my little, uh, little holder here and I put my ball in there. If you think about this one here, you see how it says top flight there? And that was uh, that was actually coincidence that I got that one. But we can plan it that way now. So if we're going to draw a line around center of this ball, and I've got it in my little 7 8 block here, see where that says Titleist? I just got to think about how that's going to sit on there. So if I'm going to take off this cap, and that will be what I use for the bottom of this, all right? So if we just got our name where we want it, then we'll just draw a line right around our ball, just like that. All right, so this is not rocket science, but that's uh, the tip is in just getting the name on the uh, piece that you're gonna remove because you're gonna actually keep this side on the ball. I'm going to clamp this in my uh, my workbench over there and I find that uh, any fine tooth like saw works great even a hacksaw will do a good job. Now something that I, I do know and I won't say how I learned this but do not try to hold your ball in a band saw for two reasons. It's hard to hold on to and the second reason is is that the speed of the blade actually melts that outer casing and it leaves you with a real ugly melted burr 
that you have to uh, sand or cut off anyway. So you might as well just take the extra time with the hand saw and keep it cold or cool and then just saw it by hand. And now I'm going to put it in the vise and I'm just going to cut through the white membrane until I see a different color coming out. All right, and I'm going to do that all the way around. And it's a total crapshoot. You have no idea what color may come out, but obviously you can paint them. So it doesn't really matter, but it's always fun to see what you might get. So onto the bench. And we're just going to slice into our ball. See that? I've got a, a peachy, peachy orange. I don't know exactly yet, but I'm just going to follow that cut line. And I'm going to chase it all the way around the line. I can go a hair deeper than I need to. Better to be a hair deeper than a hair too shallow because we need that casing separated. So just make sure that that is cut through all the way around that line. Okay, I think that's cut. I'm just going to run my saw around just to make sure there isn't any little threads hanging on. But that looks pretty good. Alright, now I'm going to take it out of the vise. I'm going to turn it sideways. Now, where was it? This was the, I put a little mark on here. This was the title I wanted to keep. So that's going to come off. So I'm going to put that facing out. And I'm going to clamp that only on the back half. And this is the part I want out, okay? So i got to get behind the camera and I'm going to use my screwdriver or my hive tool and uh, just kind of work it, working it around. You can hear how that kind of separates a bit. Yeah, i got to get on the other side. Just going to give it a little little turn a little more prying don't try and hold on to this thing and do it you'll never hang on to it and you'll end up spinning out and you'll stick it through your thumb like that just saying You just hear it separating. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> A fun color. Neat color. You know, a lot of people carve faces, but say you have a color like that, there's nothing wrong. You could carve a basketball even. But anyway, I'm going to uh, finish up this display. And then uh, I'm going to cut a whole bunch more. To mount that, I'm just going to uh, take a little, little drill bit here. Roughly find the center. Alright, a little three quarter inch screw. And get that started. Alright. And then I want to find where I want to have that sitting, if, what angle I want that on. Because you can do a high, you can, anything you want. But if I was going to do a face, I want to keep that fairly uh, centered on there. I'll take my marker. I'll just do a little, a little pilot hole. Now I'll put that screw up in there, all up in there. There you go. Turn that just like that. All right. So that's how I do it. 
And like I said, your imagination, you can do whatever you want, but that's how I usually set them up. So I think for fun, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut open a few more and see what else I can come up with. But I don't know why I like that color so much, <laughs> but I do. That's hilarious. So one was funny. Let me try and find that uh, cap. One is a very, very thin cap. And that may have been the, I think that was the whiter one. And that may be the one that I broke the other day. But they have a real strong smell and a very thin cap. So Ultra 3. You might want to skip it, but anyway, I just got a kick out of the colors. So now let's just uh, dig into one. All right, we're going to take this guy here and carve something. I'm not going to get too carried away. Just going to show you how, uh, how easy it is to carve. And uh, yeah, let's do something really simple. Alright, so gonna draw nose on here. And we'll just dig right in. That was yeah. it's just like a just like a piece of wood. It's kind of fun to curve. A little rubbery, but uh, cuts really nice. I like having that cap on there, it gives it better grip because it's a ball and it's going to turn and spin and roll on you. And uh, yeah, you know what's going to happen if that happens. some hair coming down the side all right what are we gonna do we give him a maybe a big mustache real big mustache
that in the eyes. I'm gonna take a V tool. I'm gonna put some hair in the mustache, and uh, we'll give them two little, two little eyeballs too. But for now, let's take a V tool and cut in all the hair. Got the slices. So nice. Make sure your tools are sharp, but man, that's fun. That's where we're at. We got the hair all cut in with the V tool. And uh, I'm just going to grab some black paint and give him some eyeballs. And we got him kind of looking to that side, so I'm going to put both the eyeballs off to the side. There you go. Right. He's kind of looking at you at the side. <laughs> see his hair but anyway like I said you can uh, carve them any way you want you can paint them any way you want this wasn't really the carving tutorial is just showing you that you how you can carve it but you can paint them up like that and you don't have to stick the faces or you don't have to cut the caps in half you can turn the cap so that it's like a little skull cap or I saw one guy did left a little strip around there like a headband of the golf ball and all kinds of ideas but it's really fun to take something like that and to carve up uh, something you normally wouldn't think to carve like a golf ball and uh, yeah like I said earlier when I was a kid this wasn't possible because they were all uh, like elastics but with this material and these colors you can uh, you can use the colors or you can paint them so anyway hope you uh, like that kind of thing and uh, I'll catch you in the next video so thanks for watching guys see you later